Hey guys, so it is bronzer season. I have purchased a lot of bronzers over the past uh, couple of weeks. So I thought I would just round them all up into this one video and show them all to you, swatch them, um, and like actually put them on my cheeks for you. So I have makeup on right now, but I don't actually have anything on my cheeks. I don't have any bronzer, blush, or highlight, anything going on. I just have like foundation and powder down. Speaking of powder, I am gonna be doing a video on this. Many of you have been asking me, but I've just been playing around with it a lot because it's it's a very interesting product and that's the Sicily Blur Expert Powder. So I actually have that down as like a setting powder right now. And it is, I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my skin looks like, like really blurred. So big, big fan of this powder, but a dedicated video is definitely coming for this. So let me show you what uh, bronzers we're gonna be talking about today. So I have the Natasha Bronze and Glow like mini guy here. This is actually one of her blushes, but for me, it kind of works as a kind of peachy tone kind of bronze. Very beautiful. So we'll be playing with that. I also purchased the Kevin Aquan Neo Bronzer in Sunrise Light. And I just showed this in my Sephora VIB sale haul, which is actually on the Risa Does Makeup channel. So uh, check that out if you haven't already. But Kevin Aquan came out with new Neo Bronzers, three new shades, and this one is the lightest. So we'll talk about this one as well. And then Givenchy came out with a special like marble edition for the Healthy Glow powders. And I purchased both shades that are available available uh, 2.5 which is natural rosé and well I'll show all of this to you but I've been using this as a blush because it's very uh, peachy and then there is 4.5 natural doré and this one is more of like a traditional like bronzer tone. Um, so we'll be playing around with those. And then I also purchased the new limited edition Guerlain terracotta. This is the root Root des Indies, I think is is maybe how you pronounce it, but it is their terracotta bronzer that they come out with every year in this wood packaging. And this is what the inside looks like. I mentioned this in a Will I Buy It. I also mentioned these Givenchy powders in a Will I Buy It. And I was very interested in them. You guys were very interested in them. So I'm glad I could get my hands on them for us. And then last but not least, I went ahead and purchased the Chanel uh, bronzer and highlighter duo in medium. So if you guys watch my Chanel Cruise Collection 2019 video, you saw that I got the light, the Claire version of this bronzer highlighter duo. And the bronzer side was just, it's just not a bronzer. It's just not a bronzer. Um, it's, it's a powder. And uh, the highlight is fine, but I really wanted to get this one. And so many of you suggested it. And so many of you suggested uh, for me to watch Angela Van Rose, who I am a fan of. And I went over to her channel right away and took a look at this medium color. And this is definitely much more of my alley. It's a little bit deep, but anyway, we'll play around with this as well. All right, so let's start with the Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow. I, I really wanted to get a video up uh, of this, maybe comparing it to the other mini palettes before the Sephora VIB sale was over, but I just I just ran out of time, so I apologize. So let's talk about it now. So like I mentioned, here is the bronzer, but it's actually a an existing blush in her Blush Duo line, and it is uh, from the Neutral Beige Palette Number no. Seven Blush Duo. And then this highlight is one of the Glow Extreme uh, powders from her big uh, diamond and blush palette, the citrus one, the one with the yellow powder in there. So this is the Glow Extreme powder from that. And this is from one of her blush duos. So both of these are already existing. I have this palette, but I don't have this blush duo. So let's go ahead and apply this bronzer slash blush. I'm gonna use my Sonia G Sculpt 2 brush. I would normally use my uh, regular bronzer brushes are probably a little bit too big for this pan. So I'm going to go in with this brush and I'm just going to move it around. And it's a very soft powder. So I'm going to tap some off and then apply it just underneath my cheekbone here. Oh, maybe I tapped off a little too much. So there is the bronzer, and I think if you have my skin tone or fairer, it will work. I don't think this is going to work if you have like a medium to deeper skin tone. I just think it's gonna get completely lost. Um, but that is what it looks like on my cheek. And you can definitely see how this can be used as a blush, and I think I would like it as a blush as well. I really like neutral toned blushes, but you can see that it works 
great as like a bronzer too. I just think it it's really lovely because it has a nice like peach base. So it just keeps it really light and not too orangey, not too yellow. Um, it just has a really nice undertone. So I really enjoy this one. It is definitely on the lighter side for me. So that's the bronzer blush in this duo. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this Glow Extreme powder. I've got my Wayne Goss number 14 brush. It's a really light, fluffy brush because this is definitely a an extreme uh, powder and I don't want too much on here but just to show you guys what it looks like it really makes your cheeks look very very wet and then there's little bits of micro glitter in there and I think this one is my favorite out of all of her minis her two other minis have like a blush and a highlight and you definitely can't use the blush as a bronzer or anything but this one I feel like serves two purposes so I really like that especially when it comes to like a mini thing definitely kind of lends itself to being a travel friendly palette so that is the bronze and glow duo from Natasha Denona. All right, and on this side, let's go ahead and play with the new Kevin Aquan Neo Bronzer. I've used this a couple of times, and it is, you can probably tell by looking at it, it is a very cool toned bronzer. This definitely works really, really well if you're a like bronzer kind of person, but I did try kind of dusting this all over my face. That didn't really quite work out that well. So I really like using this bronzer you know, mainly to contour. So I've got my Sonia G Sculpt One brush and um, I'm going to kind of focus it at this end. This side ends up being a little bit more of like a highlight shade. It also is much more shimmery. So not only does it go from light to dark, uh, like an ombre effect, but it also goes from most shimmery to the least shimmery. I wouldn't go so far as to call this side matte, but there's a lot less uh, sparkle in there than this end. So there is the Kevin Aquan Neo Bronzer in Sunrise Light. I hope you guys can see how kind of gray it is and how cool tone it is and how it works, I think really nicely as a contour. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply this side kind of as a highlight just so you can see uh, what that shade looks like. So I'm taking my other Sonia G Sculpt uh, 2 brush and I'm gonna go into this end over here. And I'll just brush it lightly onto my cheekbones. So there you can see it gives a really nice kind of like soft satiny sheen there nothing like too wet looking not like this this looks really really kind of wet and super metallic this is definitely a little bit softer so i find it to be a very very pretty highlight i feel like this can be kind of like a highlight blush in one kind of situation but i think this is really nice if you're looking for something cool toned if you're looking for something with like a rosy base this is really really pretty so this is the natasha denona bronze duo and this is the Kevin O'Quan Neo Bronzer in Sunrise Light. So I'm gonna take all of this off and we'll move on to the other products. All right, that is really weird just to do part of your makeup again. <laughs> but I think it looks okay. Um, so let's go ahead and start with these Givenchy Healthy Glow Powders um, in 2.5 and 4.5. So I have been using the 2.5 um, as a blush and the 4.5 as a bronzer. So let's start with the bronzer. I'm sure you can tell that this is a very uh, satiny kind of bronzer, and I really like um, satiny kind of cheek products. So this really appealed to me. I'm really glad that I picked it up. I've used it a couple of times now and I really, really enjoy it. So let me go ahead and show you this 4.5. So I'm using my Sculpt One brush that I just uh, cleaned off and I'm gonna go into this powder. This is definitely a bronzer that is, especially compared to the two that I just tried, the Kevin O'Quan and, and the Natasha Denona, this is much warmer. It has like a bit of like an orangey undertone. So that is the 4.5 on my skin. And you can see that like the satin sheen that it has, it's not too crazy, you know? It's not like it looks like I have bronzer on top of highlight or anything like that. It just has a really nice kind of glow to it. I feel like what you see in the pan may make you think that it's gonna be really, really blingy, but I don't think it ends up being very blingy. And then next, let's go into 2.5, which is Natural Rosé. And this is just a really pretty like peach cheek color. And 
I was asking the woman at Barney's, that's where I got these. I said, is this meant to be a blush or, you know, bronzer? And she was like, well, these are, you know, healthy glow powders. So it's really, you know, however you want to use them. I said, okay, because this is definitely much better as a blush for me. So there is the natural rosé, the 2.5, and then here is the 4.5. So I think if you have extremely fair skin, this may work as a bronzer for you. But for me, I just, the tone and the depth of the color, I think just work a lot better as a blush for me. And if you are like a similar skin tone to me, I think these two work really well together. You know, this as a blush, this as more of a bronzer contour situation. I feel like they just blend really, really nicely together. So those are the Givenchy Healthy Glow powders, 2.5 and 4.5. Uh, next, let's try the Guerlain Terracotta. So these limited edition palettes, they always have like a bronzer and a blush situation in there. And what I like is that they really make them very distinct so that you can use just this part if you just want bronzer or just this part if you want blush. The gold that you see is overspray and I would say it'll take about four or five uses to kind of get through all of the gold, but these two powders are, they're satiny. They're not, they're not like a really dry, flat matte in any way, but the gold definitely adds a little bit of shimmer and you will lose that once that overspray is gone. So I'm gonna use my Sonia G Face Pro Brush and I'm gonna go into this bronzer area. I'm gonna sweep that underneath here. So there is the terracotta bronzer, definitely on the warmer side. A little bit of a, a hint of orange underneath. Really nice for the summertime and just to compare, this is the Givenchy. I think they're actually very similar in tone. And then here's the Guerlain. And of course this has the terracotta fragrance to it. I wanna say it's a little bit more subdued than last year's. I felt like last year's I could smell it even when it was in the box. But this year I feel like I have to kinda, of, I have to get a little bit close to it. So I'm happy with it. I really like the fragrance of it, but I don't want it, you know, like up my nose. All right, and let's go ahead and use this blush. So I've got my um, Sonia G Cheek Pro brush and gonna go right into that pink shade. It's a really pretty, um, peachy pinky shade. It's not extremely pink or peach either way. It really kind of falls right in the middle. And you can see, you can actually see quite a bit of the overspray that I'm picking up. All of that gold is not gonna be there once the overspray is gone. But hopefully you can see like the pinky peachy tone to it. It's very, very subtle. I, I want to say the blush is less pigmented than the bronzer. The bronzer I feel like I have to be a little bit careful with. The blush I feel like I can kind of like pile it on and it stays fairly natural looking. All right, so this is the Givenchy Healthy Glow Powder side. And here is the Guerlain Terracotta side. All right, we've got one last bronzer highlighter duo to try from Chanel. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all of this and I'll be right back. All right, last but not least, we have the Chanel bronzer highlighter duo. This is part of their cruise collection. And yeah, I got the Claire that didn't work out. So I thought I would get the medium because everyone talked about how beautiful this highlight is and how this works for um, even, you know, light skin tones, maybe not fair. It may be a little bit too dark for that, but I haven't actually tried this one yet, so we're gonna be trying this one together. All right, I'm gonna use my Sonia G Sculpt One brush. I'm just cleaning it off right now. And that's the big fluffy fan one. And I'm gonna go into this bronzer side. I don't know if I mentioned this in my cruise video, but these powders have an interesting uh, texture. I think they're baked, um, so they're not that powdery and you don't pick up like a ton of product when you put your brush in there. So I don't think I'm in danger of putting too much on my face, but I guess we'll see. Oh, this this is nice. This, <laughs> this is a definite improvement over the light version of this, but there is the bronzer. Really, really pretty. I like that tone a lot. It is neutral, just leaning a little bit warm. I don't think it's like overly orangey. I don't think we've entered like Oompa Loompa territory. So I think that looks really, really nice. I'm going to go ahead, actually, since this is the last one, I'm going to apply it to my entire face. <laughs> 
All right, there is the bronzer to my cheeks. I'm actually gonna go ahead and brush it like all over my face. I wanna see if it'll work as like an all over bronzer. So I've got my Tom Ford bronzer brush and trying to keep it in <laughs> this half of the pan. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks nice. Oh, I'm so glad I picked this one up. Um, let's try the highlighter side. I'm using my Sonia G Sculpt 2 brush, and I think a lot of people were uh, equating this highlight to the latest like Lion highlighter, and that one I really enjoy. It's maybe a little bit deep for my skin tone, but I like it, I like it a lot. Oh, very pretty. Very lovely golden sheen. I want to say this highlighter too is like wetter looking than the one in the lighter version. The one in the lighter version is is very subtle. It's very satiny. The tone of it is very subtle too. So this palette is definitely just overall has a lot more impact. It's pretty obvious by looking at it. But <laughs> but I just wanted to say that. All right, so there is a demo of all the new bronzers that I have purchased lately. I really enjoy them all. I like how they're all like a little bit different. They all offer kind of something a little bit special and unique. I think the Kevin O'Quan one is the coolest. So I think if you have like fair skin with very kind of like pink cool undertones, this may work really well for you. And then I think the Girl on Terracotta, I think is the warmest. And then the other three, the Natasha Denona, the Chanel and the G Givenchy powders. These are all kind of like in the middle, warm leaning, but not quite as warm as the Guerlain. So that's it for this round up new bronzers video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments section. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.